Hey, Sivan here. In this video, we're going to be looking at layers um, and how we can use them to hide objects and reference them. So all I've kind of done so far is just made some primitives um, that we can work with. Um, but what we want to work, look at mainly here is the channel box. So on the right, it should be one of these tabs. If you don't have it, it's the far right button. And what we want to focus on is the lower section here that says display. There is render and anim as well. Um, but we're not going to look at those uh, in this video. So, what we're going to kind of do in here is once we've got a complex scene and we've got lots of objects, um, or we want to fix topology on a, a bad object or something we've scanned or downloaded, um, ways that we can use layers to kind of help us. So, what we want to do is I'm just going to select one object and then in here we've got four buttons and what we want to kind of look at first is these two buttons on the right. So the first one, just the um, the square uh, with a plus sign, that is create a new empty layer. So because I've got an object selected, I can do the one on the far right, which is create new layer and assign the selected objects. So I'm going to click that one. In the channel box it will now say layer one. This object has been added to layer one. And what we've got is a new layer that's just called layer one. So the first thing we're going to look at is if we double click on the name, we can rename it. So I'm going to just call this one pipe. We have some options here, but we're going to look at those um, on the buttons, which you'd mainly use in the workflow. But the one other thing we can do is we can change the wireframe of our objects. So uh, I'm just going to set this one to red. So now the wireframe for my objects um, that are on this layer will all be red. So, um, buttons on the layers. The first one we have is the V here, so that's visible or not visible. The next one is playback or not. So this is um, whether it will appear in um, renders and animations. So with it off, it will still be visible, but not in the actual playback. So that's, so we've got V on and off, and we've got P on and off. The last one is uh, template or reference. So T, what it does is turns it to wireframe uh, with grayed outlines. We then can't select this object. It's now locked. The next option, R is basically the same, but this time it's shaded. So we still can't select it or do anything with it, um, but it's now got shaded rather than wireframe. And then one more click, we'll turn it back to normal. So that's kind of very good for if we're happy with an object or we don't want to risk damaging what we've got, or if we're going to use it as a reference to model um, kind of cleaner geometry over the top. So that's the general layer settings. Inside the layer, we have, um, so if we right click on the layer, we have add selected object. So if I select my cylinder, right click, add selected object, the lines have now gone red. That shows me it's in this layer as well. Alternatively, we've got remove layer. So I'm gonna select the cylinder again, right click, remove selected object. So it's gotten rid of the red lines, it's now out of the group we can select objects. So this will select every object that's in that layer. So to kind of show you quickly, rather than me selecting all these objects, so rather than kind of selecting them one by one, I can right click, select objects. This is selecting all of the objects individually, not as a group or a combine. So they are still separate. And um, we kind of know that because some of them are white and one's green. So if we rotate or anything like that, they will move independently from each other. Other options are we can, these all have the same options inside of them. It's just whether it's all layers, selected layers, or um, only selected layers. So we've got visible or not. We've got playback or not. So the same as the V and the P. We've also got normal template or reference. So that's the last box. And then we also have bounding boxes, shaded, textured, so we can turn textured on for certain objects or not. So I can turn all of these to unshaded. I can still edit them, but these three are now 
wireframe and this one's still shaded. Um, so I'm going to do it for all shaded. Right. Also, you've got empty the layer so we can kick all of the objects out of that layer. Delete layer. So it completely removes the layer. It won't delete the objects that are inside the layer. It will just kick them all out and then delete the layer. Um, have the same options here. Um, create empty layer, create new layer. So it's the same as these icons here um, and the same as the ones in here. These are preference things. So make new layers current or add new objects to current layer. So every time you create a new object, it will add it to the selected layer. So it depends on your workflow, um, but it's kind of a useful thing to remember depending on what you've got it set on. Also, we have attributes. So we have all those different options in here, but we can do it inside the attribute. So we can turn shaded off or on. We can change the color to whatever we like, um, as well as just doing it inside here by itself. So this is the kind of the layer settings. Um, it's a very good thing to have in your workflow. Um, and as your scene builds up, you'd have um, ground floor, first floor, or lower body, upper body, um, and you kind of build it up that way. It's a very good way of speeding up your viewport. So once you get a very high poly scene, um, just by turning a few of them on or off, um, will speed up your viewport depending obviously on how powerful your machine is but that's the layer settings um, see you in the next video